right. Thank you guys for tuning in. So this video content is going to be brought to you because I wasn't able to find much of anything that I was truly able to figure out on YouTube about Tarnos Tech. Okay. So I'm not correlated with them in any which way. I'm not paid by them. I just want to give you the, the information that I find online via the company or other sources that have information that will correlate to the company Tarnos Tech. Okay. Tarnos Tech Inc. But uh, I just refer to Tarnos Tech just because that's what I'm going to run with. All right. So the three facets of the company are going to be the metal cutting aspect. Okay. So that's going to be number one, which is taking the fuel called magna gas and using it to cut metal. Okay. So this is a safer, safer alternative to acetylene. Okay. The cutting temperature was rated on a third party aspect of 10,400 and some change. So that is approximately 4,000 degrees hotter than acetylene, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a way higher cutting temperature, which means they're going to have a cleaner cut, a faster cutting time, saving time and money, and is safer. Magna gas is lighter, and so when it is released, if you have a leak, it expands upward in the atmosphere and it is released. Uh, acetylene is heavier than oxygen, so it will pool at the bottom of your feet, and if it has any explosion to it, it will ignite the floor and very hazardous, so not the greatest in that aspect. So having a safer green alternative like Magna Gas from Tarnos Tech is a great safer alternative for you. The second asset is going to be the decontamination of waste products. So this is referring to agricultural waste or pharmaceutical waste. The pharmaceutical waste is still being tested. The USDA grant that happened about August of September of 2018 is going to be releasing more information here shortly with the latest thing this came last week of saying that the process was completed and successful the decontamination of the cryobacteria in the source material tested so that is great news for the blue algae blooms happening in Florida and California uh, what happens is when you're fertilizing your fruit trees or plants or anything I believe it's approximately 80 to 90 percent of that nutrient is run off into the oceans which having a higher NPK level in the water and exposure to light it will cause algae blooms which is the canobacteria blooms that we're seeing in 2018 Florida had a huge huge problem with this because that is hazardous and not safe to be around so I believe they released the information saying that Florida had processed a 2.5 billion dollar allocation for a four-year plan for cleanup and decontamination of these said such industries so if the possibilities of tapping into any portion of that would be great just read our call the other day where there was a company that was taking the waste runoff and then using it in a submerged plasma arc technology in order to get rid of that waste contaminant which sounds like process in order to produce magna gas so I'll tap into that a little bit later but the third part of this company that comes to play is going to be the co-combustion side which would be the fuel alternative to engines or any such fuel source that you would need uh, in order to do that they would have to be converted into a liquid material which there is already talks of them starting to do that so I'd say that portion an aspect is still under the research and development side just like the uh, decontamination aspect which those things are in the works so the main front runner is going to be the metal cutting industry that we're basing the industry for performance for Tarnos Tech at this time so stay tuned I'll keep you guys up to date with what's going on any news that comes out I'm gonna to try to feed you guys the most up-to-date content so you know what's happening with the company 
and you can check it yourself. I'm going to try to link the comments below of information that you can check on. So like the algae bloom situation, I'll put a link into there so you guys can see that and check out that resource and read it for yourself. I mean, this is all stuff that I had to piece together, but I want to make it easier for you guys, the end user, to fact check what's happening and see what's happening so you understand it. Because you know what? We're looking for a big change and what Tarnos Tech offers is a great opportunity for global change in a positive way. Acetylene production was wasting billions of fresh water every year. Billions of gallons a year of fresh water that's now gone uh, in order to produce a hazardous material. And magnet gas comes in and takes a waste product and is able to produce a hotter burning temperature fuel that is safer and cheaper for the user and operator and business owner to use that cost saving magnet gas as long as they convert. Uh, so this is what I'm trying to do is help people understand what the company is, what it can do for you. So stay tuned. I'll bring you more content. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate the, the help. We're going to try to build this up to something. We'll see what we can do. All right, guys. Remember, never a bad day. All right. Bye.